Hello everybody, I am Torit Mato. Welcome to Art and Purulia. We have been discussing oil painting. This is the third and final video of the series. In the first two videos, I have discussed about the materials required for oil painting and various techniques and the overall process. In this video, I shall be discussing some important aspects of activities involved after you have completed your painting. Primarily, I will talk of varnishing, framing and cleaning of palette and brushes. I will also talk of the safety aspects and some useful general tips. Once you finish of painting, you need to wait patiently till it dries. I leave the painting somewhere safe to dry out of any direct sunlight and preferably away from dust. Varnishing should be done after the painting is thoroughly dried. It may take 3 to 4 months and sometimes almost a year to completely dry. It depends on the fatness and thickness of the paint applied and also the weather. Varnishing has several advantages. It protects the surface of the paint from light damage and atmospheric conditions. It deepens rich colors and enhances the overall appearance. Varnishes are available in matte or gloss finishes and you can create a satin finish by mixing the two. You can apply a few coats using a broad brush or by spraying. To complement the painting, you need an equally beautiful frame. That would be as per the mood of the painting to enhance it manifold. Choice of frame depends on size of the painting, color combination, display location and of course personal preference. Now I will talk of one aspect of oil painting which we all want to avoid that is cleaning up. That is one of the downside of oil painting. You need not clean on daily basis. You should clean only when your project is over or not likely to paint for a few days. To clean up after your oil painting session you can use soapy water but more preferably solvent or turpentine. As the paint is oil based water is not all that effective. If you are not very comfortable with solvents, you can use white spirit, which is slightly expensive or you can make a solvent free solution yourself by adding vegetable oil of half the portion, dishwashing liquid of one fourth of the portion and water in the remaining one fourth portion. Mix the solution thoroughly and thereafter you can use this solution for cleaning your palette as well as brushes. You can use the same jar for cleaning your brushes or pour the solution into a container specially made for brush cleaning. These containers are available in the market as well as online and have a ribbed bottom to rub the bristles to get rid of the paints. To clean your palette, simply wipe off the mixing area using rag dabbed in solvent or soapy solution. Here is how to clean your brushes. Wipe off any paint solids from your brushes onto a paper towel or cloth then switch the brushes in the solvent jar and knock off the excess solvent on the outside edge of the jar. You will see the solvent running down the inside of the jar. It should look transparent. Some important points of safety. Oil paint and the relevant mediums are toxic. So you need to handle them with care. If you are sensitive to the chemicals, you might want to consider using gloves. And of course keep your paints out of reach from children. You should also make sure you paint in a well ventilated area. Some basic tips for the beginners before you start oil painting. You must get your basics of drawing correct. Start with simple subjects. Choose subjects you love like flowers or simple landscape. Allow yourself to make mistakes and experiment with colors. Learn to get various shades. The more you experiment, the more you learn. Thank you for watching the video. Please don't forget to subscribe if you like the videos and would like to watch further videos in future. Also you may like to comment on what you liked or what you didn't like or if you have any suggestions or questions. See you in my next video on acrylic painting. Acrylics are really versatile and I am also waiting to start with the medium.